This is where his patients go through two days of physical evaluation and where we found, after just a few hours, how intense the 52-year-old doctor and his methods are. Just show me what you got, just show me what you got. I think this is the neglected part of medical testing, is how fit are you, how strong are you, All right. how well do you move. And up overhead. And in many ways, these tests are even more predictive of how long you're going to live than what I might get out of your blood work. How do we know that? The data are pretty clear. When you look at things like cardiorespiratory fitness, when you look at muscle mass, when you look at strength, they have a much higher association than things like even cholesterol and blood pressure. Dr. Atia and his team say the key indicator of overall health right. and longevity it's starting to roll now. VO2 in the mid 20s is a test called VO2 Max. Everything you got, everything you got. It sounds like the name of a sports car, but essentially it's a measurement of the size of someone's engine. Really good maximal test here. And their capacity to use oxygen to generate power really nice. with their muscles, heart, and lungs. There you go. That's the hardest part of your day done. Even though you say I, I scored fairly well on my VO2 max. There we go, 42.1. Okay, that's good. You say I'm still not good enough for Dr. Peter Atia. Yes, your VO2 max was going to place you at the 85th percentile for women your age, and I think it's worth taking a victory lap. But tomorrow, we should come back and plan on what we're going to do. You think anyone, whether they're 45 or 65, should be training like athletes, not for the Olympics, but essentially for advanced age? Absolutely. Life is a sport.